And on my left, Joel Angus, Samuel Ricklett, Jamaica. Samuel Ricketts to serve to Fam Chan Huang, Laval, Ple. Hey. One love. Play. Keen little flick serve from Samuel Ricketts, always Love. mixing it up. Service over. One, two. Good play from the youngest player on court at 17 years of age, Jack Yu. Certainly far from Two. overawed here, All. holding court very nicely. Signaling where he's going to serve to, to his uh, partner. <laughs> That's no service good. Over. First service Three. error of the match, just Two. when I was bigging him up. Four. Two. Super point, really good recovery there from the so Australians. Three, Tran four. Huang Pham, suggesting as one of the older players in badminton and the oldest on the Australian team. He tries to set a good example for the youngsters, especially Jack alongside. He hopes to share his wisdom and experience and the importance, he suggests, of focusing on just the important aspects, not trying to distract your play moment by moment. He started oh. playing when he was seven, the elder of these two. His dad played with him on the street, but eventually went on to play in Hanoi, the domestic club. Trained with them for two years, but his dad pulled him out because training schedule was too much and he wanted him to focus on his studying at 11 or 12 years of age. His dad was a big disciplinarian, so big on over. studying. Five, so he continued four. to play alone somehow before joining a smaller team, the police force of Vietnam, where his training schedule was that little bit more flexible. For Tran. Service over. Five. All. But he never represented Vietnam in a Six. tournament. Five. Hence the uh, swift allegiance to Australia when he moved there. Oh, that's brilliant from Jack Hugh. He was all over that. Really big presence at the net. Seven. Commanding play. Look five. at this. 17 years of old age, just owning the court there. He looks far older than that, doesn't he? With the way that he has such a purposeful demeanour on court. Jamaican struggling to settle here. A few unforced errors creeping in. Ten, five. Winner of this match takes on the winner of Lane and Vendy in 
Dong and Yukura, an English-Canadian clash over on one as we speak. Lane and Vendy, a game up, 21-13 and 11-10 up. Eleven five in turn. Lane and are the third seats, but it's the uh, Australians that look like at the moment the likely winners. Though it's still early doors. Eleven five, the green and golds lead at the turn. Yeah, that's good. Took the first six points to warm up. So you just got to make sure the speed of the rally is fast enough here. Yeah, you can't go slow here yeah, because as soon as we go slow, then it turns into a bit of a different game, yeah, defensive game, and then they can play. Think they can play with us, yeah. We have to make sure that front court is fast. If we need to lift, we lift nice and high. So we're looking for the opportunity to attack and then get into the to smash it. You know, I have to make sure we're nice and quick, yeah. Especially off the serve, they'll they want this good. They like to just lock in front of you, lock the serve, and then really ready to take that net. From Interesting, the Australian coach saying uh, keep your front court position high up the court, lift high five. if you need to, and deep, and keep your pace up. Play. To try and keep on top of the uh, ath athletic Jamaicans. You electing to play it. Nah, it's a lovely little clip down there. Redeems himself there. 13, 5. Good work from the 38 year old. 14, powering through five. here. This was really well struck. Awkward uh, to react to that for Angus with his broad shoulders. He was handcuffed. Fault. Jack Hugh, I think, just clipped it on the way through. Service over. Six. 14. Now the Jamaicans need to regroup here because this is looking a little lopsided of late. From Transfer. So over. 15. 6. Uh, denied towel down from the umpire. He just wants uh, play to be continuous. Jamaicans right up against the green and gold wall of solidity right now. Service over. 7 17. Well done, good defence from Angus Nine, and Ricketts. 17. 
Tschenischen. Oh, they've delighted so many with their enthusiastic athleticism, throwing themselves around the court over the last uh, five days or so. But they're being so managed very well by 18, this uh, nine. Australian pet. That's a great close from Sam Ricketts. Service over. 10, 18. Oh, super return of serve from Jack Yu, who was all over that. Popped Service up a little over. too high and got what it deserved. 19, 10. Sister watching on. Angela on the left. I wonder how they really get on. I wonder how competitive they are as, uh, as siblings. So it's over. 11, 19. I'm sure they're very supportive in this big picture, irrespective of any of that. Fresh shuttle then for Sam Ricketts to serve with. Service over. 20. Game point. Well, given that 11. they're an unranked scratch pairing, Tran Pham and Jack Yu have acquitted themselves great out here. That's a great way to seal the game. game. 21 points to 11. The First Vietnamese game, born Fan, Tran Pham. Tran Huang and Jack Yu. Getting to the finish line of game one 11. very comfortably. 21-11. Blink of an eye, seemingly. Just 12 minutes. Very efficient from the Australians. Yeah, I think just have to be. Don't, don't get confused with fast with always flat hard. Yeah. So sometimes it's okay, and we need to make sure we hit the really high lift because this stadium is a little bit hard when the shuttle's coming down the top of the. Yeah. So super high lift, and then we've got the opportunity, then we, then we attack in that position. Yeah, we don't always have to be flipping, flipping flat. Yeah. Of course, if you've got, if you can take the shuttle up high, you can get in behind them, then yes, definitely flick it flat, but otherwise, up nice and high. Wait for the opportunity to attack, and then bang, 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 move forward, and then you can attack. Sometimes it's going to be a little bit more aggressive with the net. Yeah, sometimes it gets the best pair. So if we play that soft one, they're just going to be out and counter attack is too easy. So you've got to go a little bit hard. And when you go hard, it means Jack can also move up on the front big foot a little bit more. Okay. Slow drop, sir. Code 2, 20 seconds. Code 2, 20 seconds. Samuel, Samuel, can you put... Talia Richardson the there, rocket. just barking out some encouragement. The a young 20-year-old Jamaican to her team mates on court. She'll be up in a couple of matches' time. She takes on Wendy Talia. Chen of Australia, does Talia. In a women's singles clash, due around 140. Second game, love all, play. Well, it wasn't the cleanest to put away, but he got it there One anyway, fam. Love. Service over, one, all. Good 
pace from Jack Yu. He's so been impressive, hasn't he, the 17-year-old? From the offing one. here, I thought at that young tender age, he might be a little overwhelmed, but, you know, anything but. He's been absolutely rock-solid and quite dictatorial, really. Well ahead of his years. Service over to all. Service over, three, two. I guess, though, when you're at the uh, child of an Olympic bronze medalist for China in 1996, oh, oh. mum is uh, really inspirational, her Four, Tian Tang. Two. So I'm sure he, he has believed from a very young age that he was going to be a good player. But there's good in Australia Five, and then there's good in the rest of the world, two. isn't there? They're out on a limb a little bit out there in the Oceania Championships and what have you. But this is a real assessment of where they're at. So it's over. Three, five. Tight serve Three. from Tran Huang Pham. Keeping it very tight to the net. Got it dipped after it clears the net. Raucous noise from Show Court as uh, Ben Lane and Sean Vendy, the English duo, as the third seeds in the men's Three. doubles have come through against the Canadians, Dong and Yukura. So it's Lane and Vendy that lie in wait for the winner of this one. Eleven three in double. Eleven three here. Again, the Australians in the driving seat as they were in that opening game, but a lot more emphatic here. It was eleven five back then. Now eleven three. They are motoring. Oh, that's wonderful from Samuel Ricketts. The best shot from him all day. Really good, Four, very alert five. visually. And dexterous as well with uh, that lovely backhand, cross block. Five, 
12. Back to back points then for the Jamaicans. It's pretty much all they've mustered throughout this contest. The Australians have generated consecutive runs of 10 and 7 points. The most for the Jamaicans, 3. Oh. Oh. Good so pace from Fan. 13. Five. Out. So it's over. Young Jack. Six. Thirty. So it's over. Fourteen. Six. Eleven point cushion for the Australians who've twinned that little bit more efficiently in everything they do today. Oh, that's nice from Joel Angus. He's pleased with that. Service over. Seven, seventeen. Good pace from Trad Service Fam. over. Eighteen. Seven. Nineteen. Seven. Closing in on victory and a spot in the quarterfinals, the Australians now. So deceptive. 20, Just too much for the Jamaicans all seven. through this encounter. And now the Australians with 13 match points. Good play so from Ricketts. Eight. Too little too late 20. today. They've been stifled and uh, kept at arm's length, these two, by a couple of very good Australians the other side of the net. Match points saved. Doubt it'll be the spirited comeback, but still, just uh, salvaging some pride. Angus and Ricketts right now. Okay. It's the end of the road for Joel Angus and Sam Ricketts in the men's doubles event. It's Jack Yu and Tran Huang Pham. Match from Australia that come match through match in straight one. games 21 Jack 11, 21 9 21 after 11, 25 minutes. That was a really good display of controlled men's doubles. And the young 17 year old alongside the mature 38 year old Fab Jack Yu 
acquitting himself very, very well on this big 